Now from the night team, 40 years after her mysterious murder, there are signs of relief tonight for those who have been trying to identify Valentine Sally. Investigators now know her name and where she came from. And tonight, the sheriff who's worked the case since the beginning and one of the last people to see Valentine Sally alive are sharing their stories. Here's Team 12's Michael Doudna. But you always have those ones that, that, that haunt you and you never forget them. Valentine's Day, 1982. Authorities finding the body of a young woman wearing only jeans dumped off I-40 near Williams in Northern Arizona. Until you can identify a victim, it's really difficult to go after a suspect. Coconino County Sheriff Jim Driscoll has waited almost 40 years for a break in this case. Until last week, when DNA testing identified Valentine Sally as Carolyn Eaton, a 17-year-old from St. Louis, Missouri. We can finally put her to rest. Patty Wilkins is one of the last people to see Carolyn alive. She remembers serving the teen and an older man at a nearby truck stop. He didn't uh, act like he was going to hurt her or anything. They were like best of friends. Patty remembers giving Carolyn an aspirin for a toothache. An aspirin that an autopsy found still in her system at the time of her death. We believe that she was killed shortly after um, she left the truck stop. That haunts Patty to this day, asking herself, did she miss a sign? Could she have done more? And yeah, it, it eats at my heart every day, every day. So investigators are now trying to figure out how Carolyn ended up in Arizona with this truck driver whose identity is its own mystery. That's the full closure that, that we seek. Find out who did it and then let me go stomp on his toes, okay? Michael Downer, 12 News.